it's another wet day in Maplen Clarendon boy crazy flooding happening in some areas but we're going to hit the road nonetheless so it's us here at JSH Rabbits teaming up with martial arts photography once again we're going on a little road trip all right we have something special lined up for you guys so stay tuned so we are far with the with the money man is it me the journey just stopped he's making it rain yeah don't you wish we could all be like him anyway we're there in the town mayfen dealing with some business before we start the journey we ain't over there martial arts photography jsh rabbits represent ah we're here nobody does so, it better than the colonel so we're finally on the road now but you don't know before any major journey we have to be like yeah from the colonel you don't know no, nobody does it better <laughs> yes yeah, so we we are hit the road you know where is it well yeah man all right then cool Bogwalk heading towards Linstead. Um, as you can see, like the, the orange walk and stuff that's over there. I think this belongs to True Juice, one of the biggest manufacturers of juices, natural juices, and so forth in Jamaica. So, this is like my favorite part of the North South Highway. Very beautiful. Coming off the North South Highway, um, we're heading into another part of Saint Anne. Gotta pay these people the money. Don't even know how much this toll going cost. But since we're not taking the full ride, uh, okay, eight, eight fifty. That's not too bad. Okay, what's up, bossy? Thank you. journey here tell us about you know just something about your rabbit journey well when we just started why it was a hard road we thought about giving up many times but you know we persevered and reached to where we are at now to the point that we're thinking about even even diversifying so that's one of the reasons for this little road trip today. We are going to basically pick up a component of a new project that I want to start doing. You know, just to make use of the materials that we have um, as it relates to the rabbits. So basically, uh, to a big surprise, what I'm interested in now is basically vermiculture. So what we're going for is going for worms. Yes. So we're going to pick up some worms that will be used in composting the manure from the rabbits. So it's like we are into sustainable farming. We are making use of the waste, so to speak, turning it into another value added product. Alright, 
So we're going to this place called Durga's Den. That's close to Fern Gully. I will go in to pick up some worms for that. What do you say? Are you serious? Yeah. Wow. What kind of Jamaican are you? <laughs> After 32 years, this is the first time Wayne is going through Friend Gully. That's good. Just one of those things though, there's a first time for everything, right? Mm -hmm. So, quick stop, taking some pictures, socializing with the folks. So what do you call that thing now, my boss? Jack in the bush. Ha <laughs> ha. The tourists, them love that, not you? I love it, but you know, like the financial. Ha ha. Anyway, yeah. Well, I say, go, master. We day here, a fern gully, and we're with O'Neill. O'Neill is one of the craft vendors here in fern gully. How long have you been here, O'Neill? Wow, that's a long time, man. All right, so we're going to take. Oh, all right, so we're going to take a look at what O'Neill has in stock. It's still raining, but you know we're just going to take a quick look. So if you're interested, passing through Fern Gully, you can stop. Oh, these are these are some lovely stuff that he has here. Yeah, man. So. O'Neill has something for, for everybody. Right? So if you're not into the jewelry and the ornaments, yeah man, you have clothes, towel, woodwork, and as O'Neill said, all kinds of stuff. Alright? So everybody, if you're passing through one day, <laughs> they come see what's going on. All right, so we have another person here. What's your name, sir? Mikey. Yeah. Okay, Mikey. And you're, you, you make all of these things. All right, so Mikey and. Okay. Oh, these are nice. Mm-hmm. Where is it when you yeah, do a thing? I do a thing, but I'm going to borrow a little bar like thing for you. Wow, I'm making it up. Brass that color and different color. He can't make up his mind. Uh, Which one are you interested in? No, I don't know. What color will she like? I kind of like this one too. She loves it. Where did we get that one then? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Cause if she's probably going to like that one more, you better get that one because you're not buying for you. So you say I take the two of them? Yeah. Alright. Um, this is... Well, this is 150. I think I have. Um, she have her You make an offer. No, no, she, 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 she's not Jamaican. She's not Jamaican. Oh, yes, you might do it, she, she, she's not Jamaican. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, look, if you see hundred dollar in this, um, hundred, give him the hundred and take back the fifty. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what up something here so 
What kind of friend is this guy? <laughs> and the man come a fern gully in a stop and a shop and the man a give him a wallet. He's giving away my money. What kind of friend is he? Alright, respect you know, O'Neill. Yeah, man, we are going to move, you know? Alright, my boss. Yeah, man, that's definitely what I'm going to do, alright? Yeah, man. We're, we're leaving our little market area. <laughs> yeah, we, just, we just link up with two guys from Fern Gully a while ago. Yep. Yeah. Why, well, they said they've been doing it for number of years i think one guy said he's been continue on a3 for three kilometers oh google just um ruined it yeah man one of the guys was saying that he was there for like 20 odd years so they've been doing their thing a long time you know really long time Like concerning business, there are certain things as you say which are applicable to basically all or most operations. So with with, with doing this a rabbitry or any other business in Jamaica, from your experience, what did you go through or what process did you have to um, engage well, to? Um one of the biggest things that or one of the biggest mistakes that we made when we started was that we didn't really do our research uh, because you know somebody just came to me with an idea Samuel he just came to me with the idea of doing rabbits and we just said all right let's do it so we didn't really think about like the market and what it really took to actually run a successful rabbitry but doing it over a period of time now we realize that why it's not as easy as we thought and um, I think I said it in a previous video though that due to some good decision making on our part and associating with the right people this that's how we manage to keep keep afloat now so you know um getting into business here one of the main things that you need to think about is what type of business you want to engage in what do you like and um is there a market for what you want to do and you know you just work it from there So we reach our destination, Durga's Den, in the hills of Ocherius. Uh, we're going to meet the owner now, or the operator, and we're going to collect those worms. You know, so you know, so we're here. Yes, yes. so I'm Corinne, as I said. And yeah, Corinne? Yeah, Corinne. I'm Liz. Nice I'm Wayne. Nice to meet you. Um, that's Wayne. Alright, Wayne. Yeah, man. So, so let me show this you. This place is hard to find, man. Okay. Uh, Google now. Oh, where? I can't see you. Where you going? You didn't ask for any instructions. So I thought, oh, I don't want to talk to you. I just stayed here so he could smell me and get to know me. Google now. Come. I'm coming, man. Rabbits, so we collect them in your and what we do is here. Well, this is a demonstration, yeah. You know how to do it, how to raise that? Um, the worms, yeah, pretty much. Yes. 
So how we do is that at the bottom we, we use some uh, shredded paper, you mm -hmm. know, like any company that has mm -hmm. paper they shred. Yeah, yeah. So I put a bath of moist shredded paper at the bottom. Yeah, yeah. I put some dead leaf. Then I add on this this mix. I made one yesterday. It's mm -hmm. fresh. Mm -hmm. I mix the uh, rabbit manure in a five gallon bucket. Okay. So I put one third of uh, rabbit manure. Mm -hmm. If you have goat or cow mm -hmm. manure, it's fine too. The same quantity of coconut core. Mm -hmm. And then I put some water in it so it becomes moist but not too wet, Soft. not dripping wet, right. but moist. I put that on top and then you put your worms. And you will do with the worms. Yeah. On top I always put a piece of cloth that's wet. Yeah. Just to keep the moisture in and keep them in the dark. They like to be under something, you know. Yeah. They like to hide. So I've been disturbing them a lot today because I picked up your worms and yeah. uh, I had it. them too much. Yes, yes. <laughs> They're shy. So let me show you uh, the worm. They're small, mm -hmm. but they work hard. So those are the California red wriggler worms. Yes. They produce, they go through uh, their own weight yeah. every day. Yeah. So they will multiply also very yeah. fast. There's a hundred in each in each box. Mm -hmm. you, you can count them. <laughs> no, no, we're not. We're not going to do that. Yep. So of course they go at the bottom, you yeah. know. So they need some air. So don't leave them uh, too long with the cover on. Yeah, I have a bucket with some. Oh, okay. So you have two two things here. Okay. Each, yeah. As I've been calling all over the place to get them and um Thank you. Rada doesn't have them. Um I called this coffee factory that they told me to check me this man. They don't have them. So I saw this place on the internet some time ago. And I said, you know what? Yeah, I just come. Since I come in this way, I'm yeah. heading into O3 or something. Oh, okay. Yeah, man. So I see you're into the nature. You love the nature kind of vibe, you know? Yes, of yeah, course. This, this is nice. Yeah, this is our place where we eat and meet mm -hmm. and we have groups who mm -hmm. come here at that. Mm -hmm. So all you do is raise rabbits? Yes, pretty much. And what do you do um, with the rabbits? We eat them. Oh. <laughs> um, so our thing is pretty much rabbit meat. So we have a farm with about 60 working dogs and you know they produce a lot of manure. And I've been thinking about the worms for some time as a way to kind of diversify. Yeah, because you can sell the worms and you can sell the vermicompost. Right. So I this is like my project okay. that I want to um to get into. So and in terms of other food, mm -hmm. um, don't add more than what they can eat in one day. Oh. So let's say you have some kitchen scraps, mm -hmm. you don't put a big bunch of kitchen mm -hmm. scrap because it's going to build up more than uh, uh, putrefaction and it, it becomes too acidic for okay. the worms, it's okay. not good. Okay. And it attracts also the okay. ants, oh. you don't want ants in there. Mm -hmm. okay. But do you want a quick little tour? Um, what do you think okay. when we have the time for that? Okay. Just a few okay. minutes, okay. definitely. All right, then we can just look around. For yeah, it. okay. Right. If he has a bad foot when the rain comes, yeah, yes, baby. Come. <laughs> okay, let's go this way. How light and moist it is. Yeah. Nice. I need, I need to figure out how do you, what's the proper procedure to make such light and soft? Oh, it's not me, it's the worms. Okay. So, do you make they, the tea from it? 
Okay, you can use this and mm -hmm. put it in like a cheesecloth mm -hmm. in a five gallon of water. Mm -hmm. And if you have one of these aerators for mm -hmm. the aquarium, mm -hmm. make bubbles for 24 hours, it's going to be a wonderful tea. Cheers, TTP. Oh. Yeah, if you can make compost tea with that. Yeah. So this is where I do my mix and uh, my cooking mix is, uh, is here. So I use some burner compost, some sip soil, some sip compost, and some coconut sauce. Yes, so you know we're here checking out the place at Berga's Den. Um, very interesting, lot of stuff happening, lot of stuff to see. Why I'm telling you, this seems like a lot of work. <laughs> the worms are ants yeah. so that's why you don't put nothing too sweet in there yeah so you don't want to attract ants if ever you see some little the white eggs of the ants and mm -hmm. remove it okay. and water okay, okay. also another enemy of course birds or chicken yeah we so don't make sure that you have the place covered so that yeah, no chicken um, but sometimes even the wild birds will yeah. go in well what a plan they do is a plan to start with a bucket Mm -hmm. Yes, so uh, I'll just do my bucket for now. I really like the, the bathtub. I think mm -hmm. it's a nice size. Mm -hmm. Something of that size. Maybe you with pallets you can do something. Yeah. Um, and what is nice with the tub is that you just put the little screen on the bottom. Mm -hmm. It has a drainage. Yeah. And the worms cannot escape. Yeah. You can even, with the quantity of manure you have, mm -hmm. if I were you, if you can just make a bed, mm -hmm. even if it's just one foot high with blocks, mm -hmm. with the concrete floor, yeah. and you make a good bed, and then you can start one end, mm -hmm. you start making one section, yeah. and as they uh, go through the manure, mm -hmm. you move them forward. Oh, okay. So let's say you have a rectangle, mm -hmm. With the, it, that's available. Yeah. You start on the left. Mm -hmm. You put a bed of uh, paper, leaves, mm -hmm. and your manure. You leave that for maybe two weeks. Mm -hmm. And when you see that they have decomposed mm -hmm. everything to what I showed you, mm -hmm. then you stop feeding them in that bed, mm -hmm. and you make another next. You, you make another section right after. Oh, I see. So when they don't have food on the that's left, the they will move naturally. So that's the way of moving your worms okay. without, and then you can just collect okay, on the left. Alright, that's an idea. Alright, so I'll take that into right. consideration, but this is the start. That's the start. All right, so thank you. And You're welcome. Good to luck. To be on our and if you, uh, if you have any questions, just call me. Oh man, no problem. Alright. It's all online. Yeah. You can YouTube yeah. Because it. Because that's how I found you guys. There okay, you go. Right. Well, good luck. Thank you. Thanks for coming. Can I get a picture of a handshake again? Oh. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Good luck. All right, then. Thanks. Bye. All right, bye. Take care. See you. Thank you. Yeah. Hey. Kyla, oh. he's going to bark the whole way down. Oh. <laughs> Don't start the car to we get in, please. <laughs> the dog walked out of the way. No, I know. Yeah, but. Yeah, so we've collected our worms and we're on our way down. Why they have some water? Did you did you see that? Oh my God, the dog is like tearing off the um the, the rear view mirror. These the dog, dogs are the something. dog they find a glass. These dogs are something else. So we we made our 
trip. We met the owner of the place, we got the worms, and now we're on our way down. We, boy, them have some dark. Those darks are not normal. They were doing some crazy stuff outside. Well, we got what we came for, and now we're heading into Ochi. Ochi Town. So, here we are on the property, Marine View Hotel. It's a pool over there. But as you probably noticed, it's still raining. So, it was raining from Maypen all the way to Ocherius. And if you can look, or if you look closely, you can see how to see it's raining out there too. So pretty much this is where we sign off for today. Wayne is over there doing his thing. I'm just along for the ride as I was saying earlier. Um, he's doing his internet stuff that I don't really know much about. So I'll update you on my project as it relates to the worms and the vermicomposting and so forth. So just keep following, keep watching, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification button and of course, See you next time. Peace.